slowly increase the voltage here and see if we already I can tell this is gonna work so I'm already pretty excited about it um, so I, I don't know if you could have even showed up on camera but I just went up only 20% and I got <laughs> some current <laughs> I'm pretty excited about today because today I'm unboxing something special from YouTube. This is my silver play button for 100,000 subscribers. I have to say it's pretty surreal to even have this box in my hand. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open this up. Look at that. You get a little note. Who packed it? it says if you have any issues, they give you someone to contact about it. Oh wow, very nice. Little letter signed by the CEO of YouTube. I get a feeling they might have a copy of the signature. Still pretty exciting. And then the good bit. <laughs> wow, look at this. Let's get this open. This is so shiny, I don't know if it's gonna show up. Look at that. <laughs> wow. I gotta say, it's pretty surreal to see my username on there. Physics is fun. And the fact that I've passed 100,000 subscribers and by the making of this video, I'm actually nearing 200,000 already, which is super exciting. It's been an absolute honor to see all the interest in science and physics um, that everyone has and to see the support. I mean, I don't do this for any other reason than to uh, spread the word of physics, right? To spread the, uh, the idea that physics can be interesting and exciting and fun and not some crazy, boring, difficult class you have to take. And having this in my hands here is such a great physical reminder that there are people who are interested in science, there are people who are interested in physics, and... Um, <laughs> I really can't stop smiling. I, I honestly, this is, um, I mean, thank you to everyone, obviously. Thank you to everyone for your support, for following. Uh, if you're a new subscriber, hey, jump on board. Maybe we can get to the next, to the gold button. I mean, that'd be pretty crazy. Um, but seriously, honestly, um, thank you to everyone. Uh, this has been an incredible journey. Now, today I'm not just gonna open this up and get gushy about content creation. I thought, heck, Maybe we can do something a little fun with it. Maybe we can, uh, I don't know, science it up a little bit. This is made out of a type of metal. I think it's zinc, mostly. And I was just wondering, I mean, can I make this thing conduct electricity? Could I maybe hook leads up to one side and light a light bulb up? I don't know, might be kind of fun, might be kind of interesting to figure out. And so for today, what I've decided to do is we're gonna try and figure that out together. Now, normally when I film science demonstration content. I've got some type of rig that's been built that I've tested I've multiple times and used. And so I just go through the process of how it works and what's going on. Today I thought maybe I'd just take you through the problem solving process. I have literally never done this before. It may or may not work. I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. I'm gonna film along. You're gonna follow along um, as I just try and, and make this work and kind of run you through what my thought process is. So let's see what happens. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I need to do is check, first of all, if this thing's even remotely capable of conducting electricity. I have an ohm meter here. There's a few things this can do. Um, well, actually, this is a multimeter. I have it in the ohm meter measurement mode right now, which is measure resistance. Um, but it can measure voltage, it can measure current. And one thing that it's really useful for when you're troubleshooting circuits or any kind of thing that maybe is not working how it should is you can check for continuity, which is that if you connect two leads like that, and there's a possible path for current to flow, it'll make a noise. It'll also tell you what the resistance is. I can use the edge of my finger here, and you'll see that there's so much resistance, I'm not getting any current, so there's no continuity. Now, it doesn't mean that I couldn't possibly drive current through that piece of my finger. I would need a very high voltage to do so, and we'll see how high a voltage I'm willing to get to this with the play button. I don't want to destroy it today, that's for sure. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and just go across some different parts of the surfaces here, and see if we get any kind of 
continuity. So when it's really close together, that means that current could flow in that little corner. That's not that exciting. Let's see if I can get all the way across. Okay, not a great sign to start. Let's see if there's any spots on the surface. Okay, so the play button in the middle, at the very least, I could do something with. One problem could be surface area, like maybe since these points are so small and this is a large metal surface, I might need some kind of terminal where I can connect it to, and I've kind of already thought ahead for that. So we're going to put some aluminum foil on this to see if we can maybe do something with that. Again, I don't know if any of this is actually going to work today. <laughs> we're just going to see what happens. All right, so my plan here, I think, is just going to be try and get as much of this aluminum foil on this surface as I can, maybe top and bottom, and then have a place where I can connect a wire on the end. So I'm kind of making a, a little bit of a terminal to connect to the play button here. So I'm just going to wrap this up like this. Again, I'm not, I don't actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, that's one side. All right, so I got these very shoddily made terminals. I may need some conducting tape. I might need to take this, like, get this really serious to get some kind of continuity, but let's see. So I'm just gonna go from here to here to start. And okay, I'm not that surprised. Ooh. Okay, so there's definitely something of a possibility here. I, Oh, look at that. I just need to find a way to make it a little bit more stable. Okay, there we go. I'm getting two ohms now across my play button. So, in theory, I should be able to run current across it. All right, so I was messing around with those aluminum terminals before, and I just I couldn't get the proper pressure. I didn't really want to put tape on this. So what I discovered in the shop here is I have these clamp leads, which you normally see like on a car battery or something like that. And I'm using aluminum foil to help uh, protect the surface of the play button here from the teeth. They're pretty sharp and they're squishing down. And now they're putting a nice pressure onto the surface of this. All right. And now when I hook up my meter here, okay, you'll see I'm getting a nice continuous signal and we're running about two ohms. So that's really nice and low. Uh, I'm really starting to think that this is definitely going to be possible now, which is kind of fun. Let me get an up close shot of just sort of what we have going on here. Okay, let me walk you through what I have so far. I found this variable transformer out back. This is gonna allow me to adjust the voltage so that I'm not starting out at maximum voltage. I can kind of start slowly and see how things work. I always like working with these when I'm doing something that I haven't worked with before instead of just throwing full voltage at something and then you know frying something or blowing fuses or in this case maybe damaging my play button that I'm so happy I just got. So that's what this is for. Um, then I just have this switch that's plugged in here and right now what's happening is if this were on, which it's not, uh, power will be running through this cord which is connected to nothing and my plan is that I'm going to connect that to here so that the power will run through here to this side of the play button hopefully run across the play button, come out of here, and then connect to here, and go through the light bulb. And we'll know that we are conducting electricity across the play button if the light bulb lights up. Now, I have to connect these leads. You can see it's not exactly plug and play. And so what I'm gonna do is just sort of put this in here in a way that it's, there's some good contact, um, and then wrap it with electrical tape to keep it safe and to keep it connected. So let's do that, probably do that in time lapse Save everyone a little time. Okay, so now I have this hooked up to here and here. Got some tape on there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my switch on. This is all the way down to zero. Make sure my light comes on, and it does. And now I'm just gonna slowly increase the voltage here and see if we, already I can tell this is gonna work, so I'm already pretty excited about it. Um, so I, I don't know if you could have even showed up on camera, but I just went up only 20% and I got some current. 
<laughs> pretty, <laughs> this is pretty cool. All right, ready? Woo! Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. So I am now conducting electricity with a play button. Now I want to be mindful here. Um, hopefully nobody tries this at home if you have your play button at home, but this is actually a really dangerous play button right now. There's 120 volts AC running through that, so I'm trying to keep my hands away. Um, this entire thing is conducting electricity. You can see it's lighting on my light bulb, and you can tell that I'm obviously excited about that because I'm a super nerd. Um, so this has actually been really cool, and I'm glad that I was able to bring you along this process. I really wasn't sure if this was gonna work or not, and it's pretty exciting to see that it works. You can see how this variable transformer is working um, very nicely. Uh, this is sort of how a dimmer switch works in your home, by the way, just to add that in there. It's just a variable transformer. There's different windings that it's sort of going on, and uh, you can get different voltages. So there's our full 100%. 120 household uh, voltage, and we're running current through our play button uh, 60 times a second, which is 60 hertz, back and forth, which is what AC voltage is. Uh, it's pretty cool. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this fun uh, little experiment with the play button. Uh, you know, as always, I say, I love doing this. I love doing science and physics and getting people excited about science and physics, showing people that it's not this drudgery of boringness and difficulty, that physics really can be fun. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I'm beyond excited about having this play button and um, quite giddy about getting it to conduct electricity. Uh, if you enjoyed this, if you like this kind of content, please go ahead and give me a subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and leave in the comments interesting things, stuff you might want to see, fun physics demonstrations, stuff like that. I'm always interested in finding new things to film, new things to show people, answering someone's burning questions they've had for a long time. Um, until then, remember, physics is fun.